for our final episode, let us review the transformation initiative of our Bureau as defined under Jail Plan 2040 and how it ensures a future ready BJMP. Enjoy and learn. This is how we develop our very own future ready correctional system. The BJMP envisions a rehabilitative environment that is secured, clean, adequately equipped, and sanitary jail for the custody and safekeeping of the PDL, paving the way for effectively and efficiently restoring their capacities. The BJMP also envisions highly competent, disciplined, and motivated personnel, with optimized logistical and financial resources, improved technology infrastructure, and a proactive and resilient organization that can withstand any challenges. This can be achieved through our long-term development plan, dubbed the Journey for Advancement, Innovation, and Long-Term Development Plan 2040. Our plan is directly aligned with the Philippines' long-term plan. It describes the kind of life that people want to live, and how the country will be by 2040. Given these long-term plans, there are also medium-term plans that are developed as a platform to ensure the realization of the strategic goals set in the long-term plans. The national government as well as the Department of Interior and local government also have this, which we have utilized as a reference in the crafting of our agency's medium-term plan. Our agency's medium-term plan is called the Strategic Management Plan for 2023 to 2028. This is guided by our enhanced guiding principles. Our mission is to provide humane safekeeping and developmental opportunities for persons deprived of liberty as our contribution to a safe, just, and prosperous Philippines. Our vision is to be a highly capable agency dedicated to global best practices and standards in jail management. Our core values encapsulate the standards, principles, and ideals that jail officers should always uphold. The BJMP has identified its progressive strategic position that will serve as its direction for the next 20 years. Our first pit stop is to meet the national standards for responsive and holistic jail management guided by global best practices. This can be achieved through our strategy map which is used as a logical representation of what the organization will do in every perspective to fulfill its mission and attain its vision. As shown previously, these are the focus of our desired organizational outcomes. First, the persons deprived of liberty, our clientele. Second, our very own human resources. Third, our finance and logistics. Fourth, our information technology. And lastly, the BJMP as a whole. As shown are our results framework, where we have set our desired societal and sectoral outcomes. As well as our organizational outcomes focusing on the five mentioned priority areas. And lastly, our desired internal organizational outcome is to be a highly trusted correctional agency and a reliable partner. This is the formula for how we will meet our desired organizational outcome. There should be a strategic objective and a performance measure to monitor progression in order to come up with the organizational outcome. For outcome number one which is to have a rehabilitative environment and restore capacities. Our end result by 2028 on PDL classification is that 75% of the PDL in identified jails are assessed and classified and 30% of them are properly housed and are receiving proper programming. For safekeeping, we seek to reduce jail incidents by 4% from the baseline and decrease the congestion rate from 367% to 290%. For development, the reduction in the criminogenic risk score of the PDL is prioritized. For PDL reintegration we envision that 75% of the PDL in the National Capital Region have already enrolled in the unified aftercare resulting in a 1% reduction in the reoffending rate. Outcome number two is to have highly competent, disciplined, and motivated personnel. Our expected end results by 2028 is that the BJMP personnel have a 95% satisfaction rating and are performing very satisfactorily. Outcome number three is to have optimized logistical and financial resources. The envisioned result by 2028 is to increase the logistical capability, fill up rate and budget utilization rate. Outcome number four is to have an improved technology infrastructure where we seek to have a progression in the information maturity level from level one to level three by 2028. Outcome number five is for the BJMP to be a proactive and resilient organization. By 2028, we seek to have six bills, national policies, and local ordinances enacted and approved. 
Also, we envision to establish one national and four regional advisory councils. All these envisioned end results would lead to the realization of our long-term strategic position which is to meet relevant international standards for responsive and holistic jail management by 2040. Through the Jail Plan 2040, we know that the BJMP is indeed future ready, thus, keeps up with our mantra of changing lives and building a safer nation. Thank you for watching. Continue to join us in our transformation journey as we embark on the second stage of PGS, the compliance stage.